Russell, I'm Paul Maverick. Now we can't be at the gym training every day, so on our off days we like to get involved in the community. And I'm a union member, United Teachers Los Angeles, and we are having a union meeting right here at Roy Romer Middle School in North Hollywood, California. My name is Erica Jones. I teach kindergarten at Armenta Elementary. And I'm Debbie Schneider. I teach first, second, third special ed at Armenta Elementary. And today I was substituting at Armenta Elementary. <laughs> UTLA, for those who don't know, is United Teachers Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's affiliated with... NEA and AFT, which is National Education Association, and then the American Federation of Teachers. They did last union meeting, they introduced a... It wasn't an impeachment, but they, they did introduce a... I don't, know, I don't know the word for it, it's like a recall, for the letter that he wrote about the subs. The president of the union. He wrote a letter basically saying that the RIF teachers will now take precedence over the subs. So that was, but he did it without... UTLA, full UTLA support, like without a vote or anything like that. So that was the biggest issue. Sort of a unilateral decision that right. he made you know what, in right. order to give the, the, the RIF, RIF teachers. teachers. Now, for those who don't understand, RIF refers to reduction in force. There were 1,800 teachers who lost their classrooms, and they were given priority yes. over the uh, career substitutes in terms of when they would get calls for sub jumps. And there was a clarification now that Originally, when it first came out, it seemed like they were going to get priority. Now you can actually choose whichever sub you want to choose. I'm UTLA rep for my school, for Armenta. So I got the information. It was clarified. And so then I went back and told the teachers, okay, you can actually choose any sub. It doesn't have to be the RIF teacher. So that's how that ended up happening. Then teachers were more aware that they could choose any sub. Yeah, they, they gave us the bums rush. Uh, they would not allow us to tape, but I think if if people had been given an opportunity to hear what what we were what we were there for, that we're labor union members, we represent the interests of, of the labor community. There's been huge budget cuts. Subs are hurting. They can't get the work that they need to keep their health benefits or to keep food on the table. We don't have a chance to talk about them. This is. This is public stuff. This statewide budget cuts are there's been enormous cuts and schools are hurting. Don't you don't you want this conversation to to get out and, and involve more people? Evidently not. They they wanted to shut down the conversation right away. The the woman running the meeting, she got on the microphone and said immediately, "Who does not want to be taped?" and stated and stated it in the negative, not to say these guys run a, a web show about progressive politics. They're members of the union and they want to put this on the air. The, the gut instinct was to say, who does not want to be taped? Not any context or any explanation at all. Just, she wanted to shut us down and she wanted us to get us out of there. But, that said, you know, we, got, we came and we tried and, you know, we'll know for next time. And we were flexing our political muscle and somebody out flexed us. Who does not want to be taped? Raise your hand if you don't want to be taped. I want to be taped.